Today we're taking a look at the UFC Vegas 30 matches, which are happening on Saturday, June 26, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on these matches. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. And if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. Yancy Medeiros vs. Damir Hadzovic Yancy Medeiros walks into the cage with a mark of 15-7-0. The 33-year-old will fight at 155 pounds and measures in at 5 feet 10 inches. The orthodox fighter has a wingspan of 75 inches. Damir the Bosnian bomber Hadzovic stands in at 5 feet 9 inches and steps on the scale at 155 pounds. The orthodox fighter holds a career mark of 13.60. The 34-year-old has an arm span of 70 inches. Regarding significant strikes, Yancy Medeiros is connecting on 4.05 per minute and Damir Hadzovic is connecting on 2.99 significant strikes per minute. Medeiros is connecting on 35% of the significant strikes he throws and Hadzovic connects on 46%. Concerning their defense in the octagon, Medeiros takes 5.38 significant strikes per minute while the Bosnian bomber absorbs 2.99. Medeiros also curbs 46% of the significant strikes his opponents throw at him and Hadzovic is able to thwart 66% of the shots thrown. In the last bout for Damir Hadzovic, he went up against Renato Moicano and ended up walking away in defeat by way of rear naked choke in round one. Moicano ended up landing 100% of his significant strikes at distance while Hadzovic landed 100% of the significant strikes he tried at a distance. Hadzovic landed 20% of the significant strikes he attempted by landing one of five. He landed zero of four significant strikes to the head. Moicano ended up connecting on one of two significant strikes in that contest. In terms of accuracy for the significant strikes, he ended up connecting on one of two aimed at the head. In relation to total strikes that he let go in that fight, Moicano ended up landing four of five and Hadzovic connected on one of five of all the strikes he threw. In his last appearance in the octagon, Yancy Medeiros faced Lando Van Ata and ended up walking away in defeat by unanimous decision in round three. Van Ata ended up landing 100 of 189 total strikes attempted in that contest. Medeiros walked away from this fight having landed 68 of 193 total strikes. In terms of significant strikes, Van Ata landed 99 of 188 which means his percentage was 52%. My betting advice is to pick Damir Hadzovic. Minus 150. Tanner Bozer vs. Avant St. Pru. The co-main event at UFC Fight Night 190 will see Tanner Bozer take on Avant St. Pru. This will be a fight in the UFC heavyweight division. Bozer comes into this fight with an MMA record of 19-8-1. He is 3-3 in the UFC, most recently losing to Ilir Latoyfi by split decision. Bozer has now lost back-to-back -back fights as well. He is averaging 4.21 significant strikes per minute and has a striking accuracy of 52%. He is absorbing 2.26 strikes and has a striking defense of 63%. Bozer is not going to want to grapple though, having not landed a takedown in any of his UFC fights. He does, however, defend takedown 60% of the time. Tanner the Bulldozer Bozer comes into this fight holding a mark of 19.81. The 29-year-old tips the scales at 255 pounds and measures 6 foot 2. The orthodox fighter has a wingspan of 75. 
Avant St. Prue stands in at 6 feet 3 inches and is weighing in at 205 pounds. The Southpaw fighter will be looking to add a victory to his career record of 25-15-0. The 38-year-old has a reach of 80 inches. With respect to significant strikes, Tanner Bozer is landing 4.21 per minute and Avant St. Prue connects on 2.68 significant strikes per minute. Bozer is landing 52% of the significant strikes he attempts while St. Prue connects on 46%. Regarding defending in the cage, the bulldozer takes 2.26 significant strikes per minute and St. Prue takes 3.03. .03. Bozer also thwarts 63% of the significant strikes that are aimed in his direction while St. Prue defends against 45% of the shots thrown. In the last fight for Avant St. Prue, he battled Jamahal Hill and ended up losing the fight via a punch to the head in round two. Hill landed 91% of his significant strikes at distance and Prue landed 97% of the significant strikes he tried at a distance. Prue ended up landing 50% of the significant strikes he attempted by connecting on 36 of 72. He connected on 7 of 36 significant strikes aimed at the head. Hill ended up connecting on 68 of 128 significant strikes in that fight. Out of those significant strikes, he connected on 39 of 92 directed at the head. Discussing total strikes attempted in that fight, Hill connected on 68 of 128 while Prue ended up connecting on 37 of 73 of the strikes he threw in total. St. Prue comes into this fight with an MMA record of 25 to 15. He is 19 to 11 in the UFC, most recently losing to Jamma Hall Hill by TKO, KO back in December of 2020. He is averaging 2.68 significant strikes per minute and has a striking accuracy of 46%. He is absorbing 3.03 strikes and has a striking defense of 45%. His grappling is decent, averaging 1.19 takedowns per every 15 minutes. His takedown accuracy is 40% and his takedown defense is 66%. My betting advice is to pick Avon St. Prue, minus 110. Julia Avila vs. Yulia Stolyarenko The third fight at UFC Fight Night 190 will see Julia Avila take on Yulia Stolyarenko, this will be a fight in the UFC women's bantamweight division. Avila comes into this fight with an MMA record of 8-2. She is 2-1 in the UFC, suffering her first loss in the promotion back in September of 2020. She is averaging 3.10 significant strikes per minute and is landing them 41% of the time. She is absorbing 2.90 strikes and has a striking defense of 54%. Her grappling is not great though she is averaging 0.49 takedowns per every 15 minutes. Her takedown accuracy is 50% and her takedown defense is 60%. Julia Raging Panda Avila will be looking to add a victory to her career total of 8-2-0. The 33-year-old weighs in at 135 pounds and stands 5 feet 7 inches. The orthodox fighter stretches 68 inches. Yulia Stolyarenko stands in at 5 feet 7 inches and weighs 135 pounds. The orthodox fighter comes into this bout with a mark of 951. The 28 year old stretches 66 inches. Regarding significant strikes, Julia Avila connects on 3.10 per minute and Yulia Stolyarenko is connecting on 2.10 significant strikes per minute. Avila is connecting on 41% of the significant strikes she tries while Stolyarenko lands 34%. Concerning the fighter's defense, Raging Panda takes 2.90 significant strikes per minute and Stolyarenko takes 3.87. Avila also defends against 54% of the significant strikes her opponents attempt while Stolyarenko curbs 50% of the strikes thrown her way. In the last fight for Yulia Stolyarenko, she fought Yana Kunitskaya and was defeated by unanimous decision in round 3. Kunitskaya ended up landing 18% of her significant strikes at distance while Stolyarenko ended up landing 83% of the significant strikes she took from distance. 
Stolyarenko ended up connecting on 23% of her significant strikes attempted by connecting on 6 of 26. She ended up connecting on 5 of 23 significant strikes aimed at the head. Kunitskaya ended up connecting on 43 of 57 significant strikes in that contest. Looking at the significant strike accuracy, she connected on 20 of 34 to the head. When discussing total strikes attempted in that contest, Kunitskai ended up connecting on 209 of 254 and Stolyurenko ended up landing 30 of 50 of all the strikes she threw. Stolyurenko comes into this fight with an MMA record of 9-5-1. She is 0-2 in the UFC, losing by unanimous decision in her most recent fight. This fight came back in August of 2020. Stolyurenko is averaging 2.10 significant strikes per minute and has a striking accuracy of only 34%. She is absorbing 3.87 strikes, has a striking defense of 50%, and has not been knocked out in the UFC. Her grappling ability has not shown up yet in either of her UFC fights, though she does defend takedowns 66% of the time. My betting advice is to pick Julia Avila, minus 375.